everybody welcome again um today i'm gonna show you some of my favorite autumn winter lipsticks i know a lot of people um tend to wear darker lipsticks in the autumn and winter and yeah that's nice but i've one of those people who don't feel like you have to only wear darker lipsticks in the winter i feel like just wear whatever makes you feel comfortable but the majority of the lipsticks i'm going to show you today are a little bit on the darker side and i've tried to mix them up so i've mixed like a little bit more expensive ones with slightly less expensive ones so hopefully you'll definitely be able to find a shade that works for you so if you want to see what my favorite colors are for this year's autumn and winter keep watching so first up is this lipstick called shame by urban decay and it's actually what i'm wearing right now on my lips and i love 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 this lipstick it's a really nice dark plummy burgundy color and it's got fantastic staying power it glides on really 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 creamily and it's just it stays on really well doesn't dry out your lips urban decay reformulated their lipsticks last year and this is definitely my favorite out of the bunch and it's a great color i'm wearing it now love it Oh, I'll also put the prices down below. I don't remember the prices for all of them, but I do remember that this is $24, I believe. Next up is this MAC lipstick called Fashion Revival. And this is actually one of the lipsticks that was in their recent matte collection. And I was really happy to get this. It's matte, obviously. And I'm just going to show you. It's a nice... Um, it reminds me a little bit of Rebel, but um, slightly darker and matte, obviously. Um, I really like this lipstick. It's a normal matte lipstick, not a retro matte um, like Ruby Woo, so it won't dry out your lips or anything. Next up is a cheap and cheerful option from Wet n Wild. Everyone knows Wet n Wild actually do some really good lipsticks, and this one is Cherry Bomb. And I'm going to swatch that for you. And again, I'm going to put close-ups of the swatches. So Cherry Bomb looks like that. And again, it's a really nice color for this time of year. It's dark, um, but not too dark. It's Again, it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing now. Just a nice dark plum. And this... I don't think I paid more than $2 for this. So can't beat that. Next up is this lipstick called Tannin from Bite Beauty. And Bite Beauty is one of my favorite brands. Not as well known as some other brands. And I think it's exclusive only to Sephora. And I do know they have a Bite um, lab in New York. But Bite is a great brand. All the ingredients are natural and it's food grade natural. That's why the brand is called Bite because the ingredients are safe enough for you to eat. But um, yeah, I really like this color. Again, it's a creamy color, just like that. I feel like the colors I'm showing are a little bit similar, but this one has, it's slightly more of a dark red than a plum, and it glides on really well, stays on nicely, doesn't dry out your lips. Um, there's nothing worse than having dry, cracked lip product on your lips, but this does a, it's a really, really, really good lipstick. And I want to say this is 24 Again, I'll put the prices down in the description box below. Purples and dark purples are also a good alternative to the usual plums and berries. And this is um, Vava Violet from Revlon. And I'm going to swatch that. And it's a nice kind of blackened purple color. It reminds me a little bit of matte smoke purple but not as matte and not as dark either but it's just a nice dark purple and again not expensive at all i can't remember how much i pay for this but i will let you know in the description box below so that's vava violet from revlon following up on that is another revlon lipstick called black cherry this lipstick is actually really popular and i remember looking for it in so many different drug stores and it being sold out everywhere but it looks like that again a berry plummy color and it's dark as well good sheen it's not matte doesn't dry out your lips can't go wrong um it looks good on i think i think it looks good on everybody and yeah so if you manage to find this in a store i'll definitely recommend you snapping it up because it is quite hard to find because it is so popular 
Next up is this Mateen lipstick from MAC called Unknown Pleasures. And I actually grabbed this, it looks like that. There you go. Again, this reminds me a little bit of the Bite um, lipstick, as in it has more red in it than plum, so it's more of a dark red. And I managed to grab this sometime last year at a CCO, so it was deeply discounted. I'm not sure whether it was a limited edition, that's why it was there, or if it's still available, but if you do manage to find it, it's a really nice colour. It's kind of, I say it's a semi-matte because it's not a complete matte, but it's not shiny either. So, and it stays on really well, comes in a thinner tube than the usual MAC lipsticks. And yeah, I have no complaints, great product. Next up, I know brown lipstick is having a little bit of a moment. This is a nice brown, I think, for dark skins. And it's the Wet n Wild Mocha Licious lipstick. And again, swatch. I don't know if you can see that properly. It's, there you go. It's showing up a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person. But it's a nice brown with a tiny hint of pink in it. And reminds me a little bit of MAC Mocha. A little bit. But while Mocha is peachier, this one's a little bit pinker. But it looks really nice with a nice dark brown lip liner. And I think it's a good alternative for the usual berries that you find at this time of year. Next up, another really inexpensive product. This is the LA Girls Glaze Lip Paints. And these are supposed to be an alternative to the Too Faced um, melted lipsticks. Uh, I, this was kind of hard to find as well because they seem to be sold out everywhere because they've been, I've seen them on lots of blogs and videos. So again, they're having quite a moment. But um, yeah, I managed to find this and a few of the other colors, but this one I think is really nice for this time of year. And it comes in a tube like that, so you kind of squeeze out the product. And it's very, very, very pigmented. And it's very shiny, nice and dark. I actually like to not put this much on when I do wear it. I like to do kind of a dab just because it can just look a bit too much because it's quite a bold color. And I feel like when it's bold, you don't want to have too much shine. And next up, another MAC lipstick. This is Living Legend, again, part of the MAC's collection that just came out recently. And this is a little bit darker than Fashion Revival. It's a nice matte, looks like this. I think it's a really nice color just because it's dark and matte and I feel like it's hard to find that kind of combination and it's a the kind of matte that won't dry out your lips it looks really nice with a night moth liner from MAC or Vino you can wear it with Vino but I think it's a little bit too similar I like to really vamp it up when I wear this last up I have my Tom Ford lipstick in deep mink I've been trying to wear more nudes and I don't know, I always put on a nude lipstick and end up wiping it off or taking it off just because I'm convinced they don't suit me, but I love the way they look and I think nudes are really nice for this time of year, especially because people tend to do kind of smokier looks on their eyes or darker looks in general and they always look good with a nude lipstick and if you've got Christmas parties coming up as well, you can really go crazy on the eyes and then balance the look with a nice nude lipstick. And this colour is like the perfect nude for my skin tone. It looks like that. Um, it's got enough pink in it so it doesn't look ashy. Again, I don't know if you... There you go. I'll put swatches again in below. Yeah, it's got enough pink in it that it doesn't look ashy. And it just looks really nice. It also pairs up really nicely with a lip gloss. I usually just put it on with a nice brown liner that isn't too dark because I don't want to vamp up the lip too much but yeah um it's not cheap it's really expensive this lipstick but um I think it's around $50 now but if you want to treat yourself it's a good luxury lipstick to have so yeah highly recommend this and last up is this Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Volupte Shine lipstick in number 10 and again this is another really good nude especially for skin tones like mine and it's really light it's kind of almost a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss um it goes on really smoothly it's not too pigmented so it's nice for if you don't want too much color on your face 
um it gives you a it's a, just a really nice chocolate brown this is a great color because it's not too pigmented so you can kind of get away even without wearing a lip liner i think you can get away with this and again this is the ysl rouge Volupte shine in number 10. yeah those were some of my favorite lipsticks for this time of year let me know what kind of lipsticks you like to wear this time of year. Do you feel like we should only wear dark lipsticks around this time or do you like to switch it up and keep things interesting? Um, yeah, I would say wear whatever you want to wear. Whatever makes you feel good is what you should wear. So I'm going to leave all the descriptions of everything I've just um, talked about in the description box below. And I will also put um, swatches up as well. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.